Can this liquid bring back long-gone youth? Well, in Florence, where restorers are using new methods to revive aging artworks. With age, paintings deteriorate, their structure becomes fragile. That's caused by degradation of calcium carbonate, a fundamental constituent of many works of art. Scientists try reversing that degradation with nanoparticles of calcium hydroxide. This painting is severely damaged because of its age and because it was removed from the wall with only thin colour layers left and they're very faded. But with this nano-calcium we can now consolidate the fragile parts of the painting. So, how does this elixir of youth work? Let's visit a lab to understand the chemical principle. Scientists from several countries have joined forces in this European research project. A simple chemical reaction produces nanoparticles of calcium hydroxide with the capacity to penetrate artworks and restore their original structure. We restore the same exact composition inside the painting, the same material that was used by the artist when creating it. By fine-tuning the size of the nanoparticles, scientists control the chemical properties of the restoring solution, adapting it to the particular artifact. Nanotechnology also helps to clean items, even sensitive watercolours. The gel gently removes the dust without damaging the painting. Water is confined within this gel and by controlling the gel's chemistry and the size of the pores in the gel, we can control the depth of the water's penetration into the painting, 100 microns, 200 microns, etc. At the restoration workshop, the cleaning gel is used with the most fragile pieces, such as this 13th century Byzantine fabric with gold embroidery. I think this is the future for this kind of operation, because it's one of the less invasive ways to treat an art object. Scientists hope that nanomaterials will offer restorers a new set of unparalleled tools and methods at a negligible cost. With nanoscience applied to art restoration, we can create a new methodology to delay the death of artworks. We can keep art alive for future generations. We can try to offer a genuine immortality to these immortal works of art, saving them for our children and our children's children.